What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Chances are if you don't follow Robert Downey Jr. on Instagram, you're missing out on a ton of Avengers Endgame behind the scenes footage in the form of short clips filmed at Pinewood Studios just south of Atlanta during the end scenes of Avengers Endgame. And it seems as though Marvel Studios has given Robert Downey Jr. carte blanche to post whatever he wants, seeing as the movie's been out for a while and the spoiler ban has been lifted. And this is seriously just like your own private reel of extra DVD bonus footage behind the scene stuff you wouldn't normally expect to see until an official Marvel DVD and or Blu-ray are released, but hey, what do you expect from the guy who was able to stream the movie on loop in his house a week before it hit theaters? We're going to put all the footage together and do a quick breakdown at the end, but first, if you could, grab the subscribe button. We're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including tickets to go see Avengers Endgame while it's still in theaters and tickets to go see Spider-Man Far From Home in IMAX once they go on sale. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So like I said, we're just going to string all this footage together, and then I'll do a quick breakdown at the end. This is Stark! Uh, oh my god! Holy cow! You will not believe what's been going on. Do you remember that we were in space a minute ago? And then I, like, vanished and what's all that gray stuff in your hair? It's just gray hair. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry. Anyway, Dr. Strange was there when I got back, right? And he gave us this big briefing yeah. on how to... I think I got cut out of that. Let's go to Vegas, bro. Do I still throw Spider-Man? Okay, good. And then I jump out. Everybody go to their starting position. 
I'm pretty sure I'm the most famous person here. <laughs> this is a really illegal video. Yeah. Big trouble. Uh, oh, big time. <laughs> I'm gonna bring. Now, for those of you who want this broken down or with annotation quickly, this is Spider-Man from the scene where him and Tony reunite. This obviously was not the scene used in the movie, but the coolest part about seeing these outtakes is this either could have been from before they changed the dialogue or during an improv section or during different screen rewrites or reshoots. You never know which final scene is going to make the cut. This was not the one, but we do get to see an alternate take and a behind the scenes take. Remember, this was famously shot at Pinewood Studios just south in Atlanta. It's the famous circle green screen room. They have massive sets in which no matter which way you're facing, you're always gonna be aimed at a green screen and they can build the sets out from there. Now in this next scene, we get to see some of the final battle against Thanos and I actually think this is Chris Evans and not a stunt double unless his stunt double is also named Chris. You can rewind it and hear it. I've got the level low so I can speak over it here but at the end of this take, you actually hear Robert Downey Jr. or his stunt double say, hey, Chris, you okay? So I think this is actually Captain America and that would be awesome to see that it's not just always all CGI but rather they are using some wire effects and practical effects here in this shot. I don't know if presumably that's Thor down to the left and I have also not exhaustively compared this to the final cut but with all the footage they would have shot for that final battle against Thanos it's impossible to tell how much they edited and what scenes they used and or this may exactly be in there or some variation but regardless it's awesome to see practical effects like real fire there in the background or rather should I say the foreground compared to the green screen and or using wiring for Chris Evans and or his stunt double yet to be seen whether that's him or not I'm guessing we're going to find out during the out takes on the DVD. Here is them all singing happy birthday to Josh Brolin while they were on set. Of course, they were on set for so long. I'm sure a lot of them lost their minds. Also funny to note, Sean Gunn was there in the background, but nowhere to be seen. Maybe he did the mocap for Rocket, or if he played himself Craglin, he didn't make it into the final cut. And of course, this is just some other outtake footage where everyone's being silly and being themselves. But again, you can see how many of these stars they were able to wrangle and put into one spot at the same time. And this is pretty much everybody here. Go ahead and take a good look again. It's almost the full squad, which is awesome. There with Ronan in the middle, or rather Renner holding the Stark Tech Infinity Gauntlet. And you'll notice not a lot of these are stunt doubles, unlike these next videos provided to us courtesy of Chris Pratt. Yes, Robert Downey Jr. is not the only leading man and actor of huge prestige on set as Chris Pratt has now become one. And it seems like Marvel Studios gave Chris not only the same go ahead to film these in the first place, but to post them when they said it was okay. And that's why Chris looks at the camera and goes, hee hee, this is a highly illegal video. He's only doing it because he's allowed. He would never do anything that's against his contract or illegal on set. We all know that. And the thing I wanted to point out was, unlike the footage we saw just before this, where everyone was in their final costumes, let's look at Chris Hemsworth. He's in his robe, and you can clearly see that some of the main actors are here as they're probably doing walkthroughs and read-throughs, but then as other placeholders, you've got what's known as stunt doubles and or seconds or stand-ins to take the place of just standing and lighting to act as if those characters are there because they don't need to be on set for the work that they're doing. No one is in their final costume. Paul Rudd is wearing a flannel. Everybody has some very light makeup being on, but not most of what they're going to wear during this take. So we would call this a light run through again Craglin we don't know if he was cut or in character or just really playing the mocap for Rocket as he has done in past films but guys let me know what you think in the comments is it awesome to see all this stuff and especially so quickly and what do you think about the normally very tight Marvel Studios saying okay guys you know what this is an end of an era let's have some fun with it you get to see all of these scenes this was a heck of a lot of footage to just be put out on social media at the whims of the actors themselves and not saved for some sort of bonus footage dvd i really appreciate that disney and marvel studios are doing that and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before i let you go we're giving away two playstation 4 pros one at the 400,000 subscriber mark which we are rapidly approaching another over on my spotify account all fires if you don't already have a spotify account it's free to make one if you do head over to the link down in the description or the comments follow the account then stream the song screenshot that and send that screenshot to everything always yt at gmail.com a lot less people are going to do that than subscribe so you're going to weigh up your odds of winning that second playstation we're also giving away tickets to go see avengers endgame in imax while it's still in theaters and tickets to go see spider-man far from home in imax once they go on sale if you want to win any of the stuff here at the channel all you got to do hit the subscribe button 
then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. My name is Michael Roman, this is Everything Always, thanks for checking out the channel guys, and stick around, we'll be posting again real, real soon.